Hey, what's up guys? Wanted to do a little uh, update video for you tonight. Um, just got done making my molding table for the foundry. And uh, I, I have very little space in my shop. So I kind of had to go with something small. Uh, I was originally going to make it out of like plywood and 2x4s and stuff like that. But um, I figured <clears throat> I had this old barrel kicking around here. I, this was going to be my original furnace body barrel. Um, but it's just too big. So I ended up, you know, I just had this kind of kicking around and I figured why not use it as my mold. So what I did was I uh, went ahead and cut the top out of it and uh, welded these two bars on here. And here's the top that used to be on here. You know, just basically, you know, cut it out. And uh, also cut in the front of it here, cut a hole out in the front, um, and here's the plate from that. What I also did was, on the inside of the barrel, I took, well, when I, when I made my furnace here, this was a 15 gallon oil drum, and I cut the, I cut some a middle section out of it because it was too tall. And I had that middle section left over, so what I did was, I put it on the inside of my barrel here. I cut that middle section, I cut, I, cut a, I cut a strip out of the center of it, so it was basically a band. And I went and I <coughs> welded it on the inside of my barrel here. I'm going to take the video camera off the tripod so you can get a look at it. Um, get an idea of what I'm talking about here. Um, it's kind of hard because it's black on black in there, but you can see I welded it around here and I welded it on so it's on a slant so when I'm making my molds here and when the sand falls down in it won't want to fall out of our out of the front part here it'll it'll kind of kick the sand to the back there a little bit and uh, we'll be able to reach in here and scoop our sand out to fill our flasks so that's the uh, that's that's basically my molding table um, I, it's not not the best but it, uh, like I said, it's going to work out good for me because I don't have a lot of room in here. And uh, right now I just got an old piece of plywood that uh, you know we can put on here. And uh, that'll work great as my molding table. I also made some flasks today. Well, here, let me show you my riddle first. Um, this is the riddle I made. A little sand in there. Basically just uh, some 1x3 pine boards and some little one by pine, you know, one by two or whatever this stuff is, cut it into lengths, framed a little box, no big deal, and just uh, stapled some of this, you know, uh, screen door screen on here. And uh, what that is going to allow us to do is when we, when we go to, when we go to make our parts, you're going to want to, the very first sand that you put on top of your part that you're going to be casting should go through the, the sieve here because it'll be, um, it'll be fine, there won't be big, any big chunks in there, it'll be nice and super fine um, sand, you know, covering your first, uh, your first layer of your part, so it'll make the, the cast nice and smooth. I've also made some flasks, <clears throat> one set of flasks today, and basically this is what they look like. There's a cope and a drag, and kind of have some down here for alignment pins. Um, this will be the coat, and basically, it's the only thing that I've done here again is just some one by pine. Okay, um, I, I used a pin gun to pin it together, and then I just used some drywall drywall screws to screw it together, and uh, just got some old, just made alignment pins out of dow, no big deal, and uh, <coughs> this thing just goes together. Like so, you just kind of when we go to line it up, it'll just kind of go together like that. And I put these on here, kind of like that on the other side to keep it together, and that'll be a nice, you know, that'll be a nice, uh, I think set of flasks for us. I think I pretty much accomplished so, what I wanted to accomplish. You know, so that's like I said, it. That's the, my the shop is really flask. small, yeah. so I'm gonna keep this. I run out of room quickly in here. So this is probably going to live over here. I'll show you guys what it looks like. Since my shop is so small, 
you know, it's just going to kind of live over here. You know, I'll just keep it here when I'm not using it and stuff like that. Or I, I could probably even use it right from here. Um, but it'll probably live here, kind of like this, you know. And uh, I want to put a couple hooks on the side of the barrel out here so we can hang, I can hang the riddle, like hang the riddle here. And then I want to keep my strike off bar. We got a strike off bar, it's just a piece of steel that we're gonna to use to that you use to strike the top of the the uh, the sand off with. So I'd like to put a hole in this and a hook on here too so we can kinda of hang this as well. And uh, I wanna come up with, a, with with something so we can hang our sprue cutter as well. Maybe like a like a set of hooks that it'll set in or maybe or something round cut out that'll just kind of fit in and uh, we can kind of keep all of our tools together there. But yeah, that's it guys. We're going to be, so this will be the, like I said, probably the last sort of teaser video. And then tomorrow I'm actually going to cast some parts. Um, I think we're pretty well, we're pretty well set to do it. Um, you know, we're not 100% yet, but I would say that we're, we're, we're close enough to where we could actually cast some parts now. So. But yeah, there it is, guys. I just wanted to show you, like I said, just give you an idea of what I had going on. Um, you know, so molding table, flasks, and riddle. And uh, yeah, so I think that'll, you know, that'll work out pretty good there. It doesn't take up too much room. And uh, yeah, so that's that. So anyway, guys, that's where we're at. And um, like I said, I'll, I'll, I'll post this one tonight, and then probably tomorrow I'll be posting one of us casting some parts. All right? Well, thanks for watching.